All right, Virgo, what's going on for you? This is a weekly love reading. Let's see what's going on for you. I am doing a class on June 1st about uh, karmic relationships and really healing your relationships, especially twin flame folks. If you're interested in how you can help the other person heal, uh, jump on. This is going to be a great class in learning about our karmic mission with people and our purpose with people. Link in description box below. All right, let's see where we go for Virgo. What is going on with you guys? Ah, look at you. Transformation. Choosing your path. All is possible. Oh, it's a brand new day for Virgo here. Rejuvenating rain, clear the past and heal the present. Uh, yeah, some of you are finally letting go of a situation. Um, could be with a Scorpio. There's a new path that you're soul is wanting you to go down. So if you've recently had an ending with a partner or an ending of being alone or wanting to be alone, you may, you may be uh, ready for something new to come in, someone new to come in. Yeah. Judgment. This is a critical moment in time. The eight of swords and the death card. We're getting a lot of scorpionic energy here. And the page of cups. Look at this. The knight of cups. Something really difficult is finished, strength card and the world. Something really difficult is finished. It could be um, just a chapter of your life. It doesn't have to be a relationship that's finished, but something uh, that has finished, it finished because I feel like you broke free of a mindset. Could be about money. Could be about like spending all your time working, all your time focusing on money. And what did you get for it? Okay, not much. Um, there's an opportunity for love coming in now. And I feel like this is going to be a big change in your path, a big change in your life. King of Wands, damn right. Page of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Look at that. I don't think you're seeing that. You see how the King of Wands is looking here? So this Leo energy, Leo and Scorpio. I feel like the king, I feel like you might be not seeing what's going on behind the scenes at about something. Ten of Cups, Hermit, there's your energy, Virgo. I feel like Virgo is very much focused on happiness, joy in the future. But there's other things going on behind the scenes that aren't so good right now. So hang on one second. Three of Pentacles. Look at that. Five of Cups. Three of Cups. There's a little bit of a heads up here. Um, some of you might have been focused so much on your work and money that you didn't notice a partner cheating. Some of you didn't notice, like thinking that that would never happen, like just, you know, completely, but really ignoring that person and expecting them to be loyal or something along those lines. I just feel like there's a messenger because we got a couple threes down here. And it's almost like um, because of the patterns of the relationship, this person has kind of gone rogue. OK, they've and this might have already happened and you're moving on from this person. But I feel like you didn't see what was going on behind the scenes. Right. You're learning something new that it's time to really pay attention. Oh, boy. Uh, it's time to pay attention. I already showed you that five of pentacles. So this could be uh, your work situation that you feel like you have to pay attention all the time or you're going to get shivved in the lunch line. Um, that's not a really good, healthy place to work then. I feel like you're trading in expediency for happiness. Yeah, there's some kind of narcissism going on. Nine of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. I like that you take your you take action. I feel like you do have some kind of transformation out of us, whatever situation it is in your life. That is like, if you don't keep your eye on it a hundred percent of the time, it's going to go sideways on you. Whatever that part of your life is, I feel like that's the thing that is toxic. So if you've been paying so much attention to your work, so much attention to earning money, yet a partner is stealing money from the business. I've paid so much attention to particular things in my relationship 
and none to the things that they found important, they're having an emotional affair with their coworker or something like that. I, I just feel like this is an awareness that's coming in. It's like, heads up. All right, heads up. There's a message coming in that is going to change the game for you. All right, this page of cups and the page of swords, this could even be a little bit like out of the mouths of babes. So like, for example, you're with your partner at a party or at a get together, a town gathering I'm getting, and your kids, one of your kids says hi to a person and it's like your partner's lover or something like that. Like your kid knows or your, your, um, your kids kind of say, oh, well, mom spent a lot of time there last week or something like that. There's some message that comes through that like ends the situation of you being blind, not blind anymore. You know exactly what's going on now. If it's about a business partner, I feel like you cut ties with that business partner. If someone's stealing money, for sure you cut ties with that business partner. Um, Six of Cups. There's something here about child energy that we'll explore. I feel like there's a sense of being feeling really old or feeling really um, tired and worn out and burned out and just like, ugh. And I think this is, there's something here that goes away and it like gives you back your rejuvenation, right? It rejuvenates you. You choose this new path and it feels lighter and brighter. Love comes in, new love comes in, happiness, joy. It's like you're really examining what you feel is gonna be a better choice for you. It does come with a little bit of pain up front though. This, this death energy and this five of pentacles, eight of swords. Yeah, seven of swords, eight of pentacles, six of wands, and the higher fan. You definitely overcome this. There's something going on behind your back. And it is a blessing in disguise because you then choose happiness. There's something going on behind your back. See how the king of wands is looking this way and he's not seeing the five of swords, not seeing the page of pentacles, not seeing. And so when this does blow up, all right, when this does blow up, I feel like you're uh, in the next week to 10 days, okay? In the next week to 10 days, uh, this is there's an eight day, uh, eight of swords there. So um, you get the message. It's like what the advice here is, is to pay attention. Heads up, open your eyes. Uh, I once had a, um, a friend, a, a friend, a couple who were friends and I was at a party at their house one time and I was in the kitchen sort of helping, getting some things ready to take out to the table, food and stuff. And there was another person in there talking to the wife and the husband was there too. And her friend was talking with her about some stuff. And the wife kept saying, I'm going to use a different name, Bill this and Bill that, and that not her husband's name, Bill this and Bill that and Bill this and Bill that and da 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 And the husband wasn't paying any attention to this. And her friend was like, how often do you talk to Bill? And the husband looked up and was like, yeah, how often do you talk to Bill? And so it was sort of like, he wasn't paying attention, but because there was another person there that was paying attention, he was like, oh, like it's like that. It's like someone's going to bring something to your attention in a really weird way. So you have to be paying attention. There is something going on behind your back and someone will bring it to your attention. Okay. And I feel like you overcome it beautifully. The, the Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the Hierophant here. I feel like you overcome this beautifully, but it's still a it's still a bit of a shock to the system. 
Two of Swords. I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know the truth. Ace of Swords, Four of Wands, Hanged Man. I think you think everything is perfect. Okay, now, I think you think everything is perfect. And I think this is telling me for you to pay attention. Heads up. Okay, heads up. There's something going on behind your back. And if you, during this reading, have been like, I don't want to know the truth, that is a definite tell. I think that's the reason why this has been going on. But here's the thing. There's good stuff coming in because this needs to go. This, this situation needs to go. I don't want you to hold on to this situation. If that person wants to go, I want you to let them go. Okay, because I really do feel like this is happening for a reason. Okay, there's lovely stuff coming in. And um, in order to get to the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, you have got to take this action of releasing. Let them go. Okay, Virgo. All right, link is in the description box below. I'm going to keep going with this reading. If this is your reading, I'll see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.